By the grace of God last week, I started a topic which I titled, It is time to stand for your own right. I will ask you to sit down after one prayer point. So every man you see on it, they have a particular right. There is a right of a son. Different from the right of a slave. There is a right of a slave. Different from the right of a servant. You know, some people don't know the difference between a slave and a servant. A servant is the one you hire. And a slave is the one you buy. So there is a difference between a slave and a servant. There is difference between a stranger and a servant. Servants are used to do security guards while slaves are used to do farming. Because you have total right over your slave. But you have little right over your servant. Now listen to this. There is, this is the reason. You see a security man at the security post saying certain things. As far as I'm here. You cannot enter here. So this is the right of that servant. This is the reason. You see some people in their, in their hard heads serving somebody that is at the age of their grandson as a security person. Why? Because eventually they have lost out of their rights. Eventually they are unable to get what belongs to them. Eventually they mismanage their rights when the time comes. This is the reason I used to tell people. When you are working under any organization, think of what you can do with your brain. There can be your heart. You cannot be there forever. Why you are there? You don't have right to hurt your own capacity. I want to celebrate and congratulate people who work in an organization and also have their home business. They are actually preparing for their future. Are you hearing me? No, listen to this. What makes a mad man or a mad woman to act in his or her own capacity? Depends on the particular part that has been given to such person as authority to act. You see, mad people tend to read people. You are mad, you are mad, you are mad. You are mad, you are mad, you are mad. You are mad. A first requesting to tell that person that that person is mad. It's not mad. They want him to feel comfortable and befitting in where he is. But listen to this. By the time you enter into the right of God, I want to tell you this. There is no power that will take you out of that right in the name of Jesus. So it is time to stand for your whole right. Promotion is not coming from the east, from the west. Not from the south or north. But it comes from, from God in heaven. Until you have a way of linking to God in heaven, you will not be able to get your possession. There are lots of people they have rights several years ago. But they are unable to make use of their rights. Because of what? They depend so much in their own ability. Not the power of God. Something said, according to the right given to him, 
It was bursting. The right was given to Samson. But he was bursting. He didn't know that he has lost his value. By the time he revealed his secret to his enemy. And the enemy used the secret against him. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Any of your rights you have given to your enemy. I pray by the heart of God. The Lord will retrieve it back for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Samson said, Samson, you saw me. I will go back like the other day. Oh, want to love you, she man, Lonnie, but go job. But I didn't know that other day will never come. Oh, my girl, John, me, could you walk home? As soon as he stood up, make it that you're better today. He could not stand it. Oh, lady, they might be a man today. He look at himself. Oh, what are they finished? Samson, Samson, get up today. He could not get up. Oh, lady, be ready today. Because of what? He told you, he thought that he's the only one that have been doing it. Oh, let up when he call out him, or she. Because he lost out in the corridor of power. He lost out in the corridor of right. Lord, direct me to tell somebody in this meeting. The right you are going to get from today will lift you above your expectation. One thing I used to tell people every pastor you see, we pray every day. We have our time of prayer. Not because we, want, we don't want to stop praying. But because we can't stop praying. Because we know everything is answerable to pray. So each time you see yourself in the house of God. For prayer. Do not say it. it, it I've been praying over this matter for long. It's not working. I don't know what to do again. I'm going today. If you sit in your house. Now which person you the favor? Now I say now which person? Who is that person you are going to say? Who is that person? If you tell yourself I'm not going to serve again. God again. God will see me God. If you tell yourself I'm tired of God. You can be tired of pastor. You can be tired of a church. But never in your life get tired of God. I have to be careful. When you are tired of a personality, where are you running to? <laughs> Acts chapter 5, verse 18 to 20. But before we do that, I will ask you to sit. But you are going to pray this prayer. Set my right in the dark places. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I want you to listen to this very well. Say my right. My right. In that dark places. In that dark places. The Bible says, I will give you the treasure of darkness. Bible Isaiah is chapter 45, verse 3. And the hidden riches in this place. So, there is treasure hidden in darkness. Sometimes last week, I had a dream after a particular dream. And in that dream, there are some things that belong to certain people was buried among those things are speakers. And speakers. And so many other things. But listen to this. After a particular dream, I pray concerning that in very well. And God has to bring another dream. And those things were dug out of where they buried. But listen to this. Nothing touched them. They are as fresh as when they kept them. There. So there are some things that belong to people that can be kept in the realm of this world. It's only your prayer that can bring it out. So you are going to pray. Say my right. In any dark places. So what are you waiting for? What are you Hear waiting the word of the Lord. Hear the word in the name of Jesus. In the name of come out by fire. Come, come out by fire. fire. Come, come, out come out by fire. You pray your prayer. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Pray your prayer. Come out by fire. 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 Come
Your marital right that is in a hidden place. Your business right. Academic right. Your progress right. Your career right. Ministerial right. Hit it in dark places. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let Lord bring it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now sit down. Acts chapter 5, 18 to 26. And laid their hands on the apostles. And put them in a common prison. When the common prison. But the angel. Verse 19 now says, But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the word of the life. Now listen to this. May put them or kept them in bondage. But the Lord set them at liberty. Are you in any prison of life? I have not been able to get your right and your freedom. I command in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring you out in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has me to tell this person. Now your enemy will no longer see you where they have come to. Many years ago, I had a dream. I saw three people forced into a particular cage and they locked them with padlock. I didn't know them. But after do with something, if God is showing you something and you don't even know the people in question, it means that something is about to happen. Somewhere. And I went to that cage. I said, this person locked you and left you. I said, I've come to lose you and let you go. I pray for you today. Now listen what happened in Acts chapter 5, 22 verse 23. Said, but when the officers came and found them not not in the prison. They returned and told saying the prison truly found was shot with all safety and the keeper standing without before the door. But when we had opened we found no man there. God was the one who brought them up. He said, you can only lock the visible, but this one are invisible. There are lots of people that use invisible spirit in the realm of demonic power. We as Christians are supposed to be using it. There is something in Yoruba language, Yoruba language, they call it Egbe. There's something that man when you get in there, you that means you will disappear suddenly. Oh, to my sake, we are poor and low But a lot of people have tagged that to be a cutting practice. Ah, when you have to have your money, if you are when you come, that was what God uses. Oh, to your Lord, man, but that is not called a banner. It's called divine disappearance. Oh, when you ira a poor at the end, mimi they disappeared. The door was there. Shut. The door was shut. Security men were there. But the men were taken out of their place. I pray for you today. As you are standing for your right. I command in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring you out where you have been locked up to in the name of Jesus. Psalm 127 verse 1b says. Except the Lord keep the city. I have it your Lord about showing you. Psalm 127 verse 1b. The watchman walketh but in vain. Only I want you to show one shiny and sunny. 
This one reflects the book of Acts chapter 5 verse 23. By the time the men got to the prison, they could not find the one that they were locked. And they only found the empty vessel. Empty room. Empty room. And they said that we could not see these people. How did they go? They went out. They had a security what happened? How do you do it? And later they heard, this man you lock up can never be locked up. They have special rights in their court. So you cannot do anything against them. Do you know how to make use of your rights? As a child of God, a lot of problems will come. The bigger one will press you. And the small one will begin to jump on you. Because you don't know your rights. I used to tell people, doing the work of God will help you in life. I used to tell people, working for God is a secret. I remember some people came some years back. Some people came and I said to them, where are you working? See, you mentioned one big company. And I said, oh, this is good. What are you doing for God? I am an usher. And say, now tell me. You became an usher because of your dress code. You want to showcase your clothes. She looked at my eyes and laughed. I said, you want to marry? Say yes, sir. I said, God said where you are going to work for him is in the toilet. Then where does your beautiful clothes in the toilet. I said your husband will come to the man wing. Main wing, he will come to the main wing. And his eyes will not be able to close from you. And your husband will not meet you at the entrance of the church. He will meet with you at the deadliest place in the church. Hear this. Your right is where God wants you to be. So the right of the apostles are not supposed to be in the prison. And the Lord said, these people cannot be imprisoned. Now let me declare over you. I want to declare over somebody. Those evil watchers over your life shall watch in vain. In the name of Jesus. The evil watchers were watching in vain. And the angel of the Lord has already taken his children. He took the children of God. Some people were watching in the day of Daniel. And they said in their hearts, We want to hear him screaming. Say, hey! When the lion brought his life. They could not hear. And they said, Maybe the lion grabbed his neck. So he will not be able to shout. Some people also wanted to see for three Hebrew men how the fire will burn them. But instead of them to be burned, the fourth man in fire appeared. As soon as he appeared, the king saw the fourth man in fire. And the king said, I've been doing what you didn't see. Three men we are taking to this place. People who took them there were burned by fire. The, the heavy heat of the fire. The one that we are taking to the fire. They were walking. But these people are supposed to be three. But they are now four. And he said. The view of the one I've seen. Is like. The son of God. 
The preaching about the Son of God has not been preached. The Son of God has not come to this world. God made that situation for the king to prophesy for the first I pray for that person with the Lord as well. Your condition will turn to testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those who watch is your damn I want to show you. They will go down and shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Just assigned to monitor your progress. In order to consolidate, shall be disgraced over your matter. Just contracted in order to bring you down. They will work in vain. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now hear this. Act chapter 5, 24 to 25. Now, when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard this thing, when they heard this thing, when they heard this thing, they doubted what them where unto this will grow. Verse 25. Hear what the Lord, where they said in that place. Then came one somebody they didn't know him but he was among them he came he was in that city he came if it was a Sadducee or Pharisee they would tell us he was neither a priest a Sadducee or Pharisee but he heard that you are looking for this thing I said listen to this verse 25 say then came one and told them saying behold the man whom you put in prison as standing in the temple and teaching the people what saved them in that place they are working for God so this is the reason the Bible said the secret of the Lord is with them that fear the this, what happened to this man? Because he had the secret of God with him. And, and what happened to them? It is found in the law of liberty. Who is that person with the loudest name? I am announcing the law of liberty in your life. I am alive in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are few things to know about the law of liberty. And I've been mentioning 17 things. Number one. When you are at liberty, you don't struggle to get your right. Number two, you are free from any imprisonment. You will have access to the top. No one controls your life anymore. You will live a happy life. Your testimony will be meaningful. You will be outstanding and shining. You have right to command. And to answer you that way. Your heaven will open and you see clearly. Water will come out freely from your way. Your terrible case will be out of your life. People will start returning back to you your possession in their hand. When God said the Israelite at liberty. He also said to them, go to the family of your tax master. Collect their gold. Collect their silver. Collect everything you can collect. Because your day of redemption is So they return everything that belongs to them. If you have been working for people and they are not behaving to pay, I pray by the order of God in the by first they will pay you back. Number 13. They shall give you back and act in your favor as the occasion demands. 
No one dare put you back. Into on air this season anymore. You will freely sing your new song. Men and women that mock you before we return to you. And they will pay down their head to you. Just like the book of Isaiah chapter 16 verse 14. He says, the pay. son also of the, them that are fit to take come bending unto you. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves at your toe. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One. So number 17, those shall be open unto you at every level. Because you are at liberty. You don't struggle. People struggle for you. So there is somebody that must shout a bigger amen. The plan of God for your life this year. For you to be at liberty. Shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Declaring from the end from the beginning. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Declaring the hand from the beginning. And from the ancient time the things that I know yet to do. Say my concept shall start. And I will do all my pleasure. Pleasure of God is for you to return back to your the eldest state of life. Do you know that no one take pleasure in abandonment. The Lord told me there are some people who are not rising or making it in life because they are living abandonment. In the spirit time, they abandon. In the name of the physical, they abandon. If nothing is working for them, they can't go to God because they don't know even how to assess no God. No wonder you took their step. But you end up as nobody. You took their step. But you end up as nobody. You delight in goodness. You end up as nobody. You delight in goodness. You delight in goodness. You delight in goodness. But nothing to show for you. You have added to your status. To make your life relevant. But you are like the shadow of yourself. Hear the word of God. In Isaiah chapter 6 verse 15. He said despite you have been forsaken. And you have been hated. And no man went through you. He said I will make you an eternal excellence. A joy of many generations. I pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you the joy of many generations. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I told you last week, there is one only name we can call. That name is in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you ask anything in the name of Adeleke Atayero, it's in vain. The word of the Lord said, vain is the help of man. But when you now say, God of Adeleke. Then you get it. Then who are you referring to? You are referring to Jesus. What is it? Pastor Deleke do it for me. 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 I want something online this morning or yesterday. Ah, Baba, no, I won't call you. I will do it. The pastor say. I'm about to do something. The destiny of somebody now. Oh, fair shame. Can't even run your mind. They come by here. No, God is about to do so. So we be all alone. Oh, fair shame. Can't even run your mind. And when I saw that, I moved away. I moved away. I moved away. You have a lot of channel online that you didn't pay for. But this, why you need me? I do me, Lord. I hear you, Jara. Your small data will connect you. I want that time. Okay, okay, okay. You finish and finish. I said this is nonsense and heresy. Oh, ni na da 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 ati rudu rudu ati. You man, you why ni on? Want to do something like that? Oh, fashion. Continue on your mind. Say now. Oh, ni ni. I'm ready to do something like for somebody now. Say tall lad, say continue on your mind. Bye bye. Mark 16, 17 to 18. Says, and this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. He didn't say in their name. In my name. 
shall they speak new tongues they shall take up serpents and they shall drink any deadly thing they shall not hold them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover God did not say go to lion den I to say my name. Say, if you suddenly find yourself in a place he like that, he didn't say tempt me. He said try. If you suddenly find yourself in a place I speak to somebody in this meeting. Because you are going to call the name of Jesus. That name of Jesus will work for you. The name of Jesus will protect you. The name of Jesus will make a way for you. The name of Jesus will amend your life. The name of Jesus will make you fruitful. It will comfort your life. It will bless your life. After you have suffered a while, what you need is a name Jesus. First Peter chapter 5 verse 10 says, But the God, God of all grace, that means hmm. there are a lot of attachment to different grace. Who has called you unto his internal glory by Christ Jesus. After you have suffered, you might have suffered for 20 years. But yeah, what did you want to do? It's for a while. A thousand years in your sight. It's a day before God. People mark you for a long time. That is a while. You say after that time. It will make you perfect. It will establish you. It will strengthen you. And it will set you. But listen to this. A man that is void of liberty cannot accept that. A man that is full of liberty is a man in his dark season. Now listen to this. There are hidden things in the dark places that belongs to you. Don't forget that it is not everything in the dark places that are bad. Some people properties are kept in the dark places. For them not to assess it. But hear the word of God. Now come down to Isaiah 45 verse 3. The treasure of darkness. And the hidden riches in secret places. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord give it to you in the name of Jesus. There are lots of people who came to this earth as a watcher. They only testify about people at achievement and advancement. But they never thank God for their own life. They can stay with people for many years. But when it is time for them to be attended, nobody look at their direction. So every one you see walking on the head, there is something that is keeping them doing what they are doing. Not because they are not praying. They are not fasting. They are not sowing seed. But there is a force of forces that tie them down. Place your right hand on your head. Say, I declare the law of liberty. Over, over this matter. Over this matter. Do you know that matter? I want you to start telling God I declare law of liberty over this matter in the name of Jesus law of liberty have you been waiting for years to marry to get good job good establishment things that used to work for you not working anymore I declare the law of liberty in the name of Jesus the word of the Lord says those that the Lord have set free they are free indeed I declare the law of liberty law of liberty is the law of freedom law of liberty is the law of horses law Love liberty is the love of grace. Love liberty is the love of opportunity. I declare love liberty over my life. Love liberty over my system. Love liberty over my destiny. Say it. Have you been rejected before? Declare the love liberty. In Jesus' name we pray. Romans chapter 8 verse 20 says, He will roam. For the creature was made subject to vanity. Not willingly. I want to work that force is in Many are enforced into evil. 
There are some people that were forced into danger. Some people were forced into polygamy. Some people were forced into prostitution. Not willingly. Some people were forced into danger. Not willingly. Say, but by the reason of him who have subjected the same hope in death. That person has the same hope. They bowed their heads unto vanity. The, the one who bows the heads of man down the word of God did he say? You must remain in that falling. He said you must stand down. But hear the word of God. Romans 8, 2 and 3 says and to 11 despite you have been subjected to vanity. He said for the law of the spirit of life in Christ has made me free from the law of sin and death. Can you declare say, for the law of spirit of, of, of the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Say so therefore I declare freedom. Say I declare freedom. Shout amen. Amen. I pray for you today oh, in the name of Jesus. From that thing that tie you down. I have not the freedom of God in the name of Jesus. Okay, the Verse 3 says, For what the Lord could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh. Now listen to this. Boy, there are a lot of things that a person could do. But According to the national law. Look at what is happening in Kwara State. What is holding them down is law. One of my sons in the Lord that is, uh, is a major says something to me. That there are NGOs that will go to Sambisa Forest. They will be looking for people, their medical personnel. They will be looking for people that are injured. Either the Rihami or Boko Haram. They will treat them. Because that is what they know. They treat them. So either you are fighting for Nigeria or you are fighting against Nigeria. You'll be treated. That is what they know. Then there is a law that make the people that should act over them to be wicked. The Lord says they are still citizens. The Lord says, you cannot kill them and announce you have killed them. Because the law of the whole world will fight. The Lord says, Nigeria president cannot declare war against them. Why? Because the law is in the flesh. No wonder the word of the Lord says, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. But we are fighting against principalities and power. So there are some things that the law in the flesh cannot do for you. So here it is. It's weaking through the flesh. So God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemning sin in the flesh. I got to get a rema yesterday when I was reading the Bible. When Jesus was about to die, he said, my God, why are thou forsaken me? Where was Jesus when he said that? Where? My God, why are thou forsaken me? You know what it means? As at that time, 
He bore the sin of the universe. He was referred to as the heaven as a sinner. And the word in the book of Isaiah says, the eyes of the Lord cannot be held in iniquity. So immediately, he was turned to an iniquity person. And he died in sin. And he was able to notice the eyes of God. He could not see the eyes of God again. Say, why dost thou forsake me? Oh, no, no, make it all that of me. It is God, why hast thou forsaken me? You have been with me before now. But now you forsake me. And the Lord will say, this is the time you answer your calling. He came to die. Okay. And he must die the same footing. He must be taken to the cross. The Bible says, cause is a man that is named on the cross. And what makes them to be a curse is sin. And the eyes of the heaven turn back from Jesus. Why? Because the sin of the whole universe came upon him. And he died as a sinner. He didn't die as Christ. He rose up as Christ. He came up as Jesus. He put our iniquity and our sin. And since that time, his name became relevant. Here in her on earth, in heaven, on earth, and after the head, under the head. Say, at the name of Jesus, every name must pass. Verse 11 says, But if the spirit of him that rise up Jesus from the dead dwell in Jesus, he that rise up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. By his spirit that dwell in you. But if there is no spirit in you, you are not free. Until you know certain things about your life, certain events might not happen. No one loves to be regarded as a looker. But a good image. Life will always be at its worst. Until you change the place of power. I said to you on Sunday. Ezekiah change order. You said to God. Look of Ezekiah 38. Verses 1 to 3. He said to God, according to divine order, you said I'm going to die. I cannot die. Why? I have something to do for you. I said, God wants to know why you want to live again. God wants to bless you. But I want to know, what are you going to use your riches for? So, God don't bless a pastor. God will never bless the one Instead of you to use your money for time, you use it for alcoholism and prostitution. He can never use, he can never bless anyone that uses his riches a, a campaign against himself. He said, God, you say I will die. But you know I cannot die now. What I need right now is to stand up from this bed. Because I want to praise you. Now, he stood up for his right. He know his right. And he says something in Isaiah 38. Verse 18 and 19. He said, for the grave cannot praise you. Death cannot celebrate you. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for their things. Verse 19 says, the living, the living, he shall praise thee as I do today. Hey! As I do today. What did he do? He faced the war. He was talking to God. He was telling the Lord, Lord, I cannot die. Let's say the war. Lord, I cannot die. Even in 
in his own request was praising God. He said, as I press you today, he was praising God in his infirmity. He has been waiting for God to heal him. And when God will send the message of healing, he sent the message of death. He said, good is the word of God. But by the grace of God, on Sunday I'll be preaching to you. The foolishness of King Ezekiah. He said, Ezekiah, they are no divine law. Was a foolish man. So it is possible. So it is possible. For somebody to be loaded with a divine wisdom and still be stupid with incitement. Don't worry. I'm going to be talking to you about the foolishness of King Ezekiah. Now we continue another strategic part but not part of the streets of Sunday but something is coming. So he said the living is I praise you as I do this day because he was able to convince the heaven. He was able to convince the heaven. You have been asking God Lord I need children. Lord, I need house. Lord, I need building. Lord, I need property. Lord, I need money. Have you ever tell God what you want to do with it? Anna said, I need a major. For what? I want to return him back to you. God wants to know what you will do with what he will give to you. I told the woman, was a woman that joined me on broadcast, a pastor wife from Malaysia. By the time she called me, she said, Daddy, I've been waiting for fruit of room for years. I was on a particular platform. And some people use your broadcast on a particular platform in Malaysia. And every day you sign it, we use it to do Bible study. I said, Sir, since that time, I said, I want to get you. I got your number. My spirit tells me to talk to you about my problem. I'm married for years, but nothing has happened. And I said, Do you believe that God can do this? The husband happened to be a pastor in Redeem. But listen to this. Say, My husband said, Call that man. My spirit is connected to that man. And I said to her, Said, I need a baby. I said, describe the type of baby you want. And what you want to do with your baby. I said, I want my baby to serve God. I said, it's done. It's on broadcast. Our father and the Lord did not lay hands upon her. He did not anoint her with any But the oil. Lord will see the fate of people. Anytime you want to do no gata, she so sit for no gata. Are you hearing me? We God look down on such person. But even if you have been waiting on God for years, and it has not come, your case is not close. God is waiting for your own timing. He wants you to do things that he wants you to do. What he wanted that woman to do was to call her prophet. And she called her prophet. And she got her request. And that will be laughing. Are you hearing me? So if you are saying, Lord, I've tried. Don't ever say I've tried. It is not immediately the woman got the people. But she acts by divine character. And she was not a stupid woman. Up to now, she still cleaved to her father in the world. Listen to this. Ezekiah said, Heavens, I want to praise you. I cannot die now. Heavens, I want to connect people to you. What are the things you are connecting? You are connecting people to wage war against the people that bless you. Are you hearing me? 
You are abusing people that God is using for you. And you are thinking that heaven is looking at you. It can never work. Until you change your mind. You know what Ezekiah said? They go, Remember my service to you. What are your services? What can you lay claim on? He has something to lay claim on. Oh, no, but do you have anything? In the case of Eli, he could not negotiate. God abandoned him and was speaking to a small boy Samuel. He was the one that prayed for the mother of Samuel. And said, so be it. He first abused the mother of Samuel in my and the woman said, I am not a drunkard. You as a woman, if your pastor calls you a drunkard, I know you will carry your Bible and leave that church. He's a stupid man. He said it's not correct. He's an unentity man. Why will he say I'm drunk? But Anna said, with a calm voice, I'm just telling God everything. I am not a drunkard. Jesus also to attended to a particular woman. To some people, he called me a dog. Sure. Nonsense. Go away! Bro! There are some language that will come to you that you may not like. I want they call it here in Russia. But turn it to to a wrong. divine statement. Are you listening to me? Leave God with his anointing. And grab what you need from the anointing. For Samuel 318. And Samuel told him everything. And need nothing from him. And he said, This is the Lord. Let him do what seems him good. What was seem God good? What are the things that seem God good? You say, your family, your children, they will no longer reign as a priest. Anyone that is growing up in your family, their eyes will go blind. Say, from this position, you will never climb that place. And for your sons, they will die in one day. That was what pleases God. And he heard it. Yes, God. But Ezekiah said, Ezekiah was a king, not a prophet. Prophet thought that I am too close to God. He can never, never do me any wrong. But the king said, So hear from the mouth of this prophet, I know death has come. He didn't despise the prophet. He said that I've heard the word from the mouth of the prophet. And I know that God is the one that spoke to the mouth of the prophet. I'm not going to tell this one lightly. For the fact that I've heard it, in the next second, death is coming. He quickly rose up from the pen. I said, I cannot die. Eli said, You want to kill me, kill me. If you want the children to die, let them die. You want anything to happen, let it happen. And it happens that way. I pray for you today. You have rights. It is time to have your right and your standard. It is, it is, time, it is time to have your standard and your right. So it is time to stand for your own right. So you have right to speak to that problem. And tell that issue. It is home. To that pit, give my children. To that that pit of hell, give my joy. To that witches and wizards, I come out of your territory. To that power tormenting me, I say no way to you. To that problem, I say no more. My marriage in chaos, I say no more. Have you accepted the fact that because they call you a parent, that is what you are? Or that is who you are? No! That is their opinion. What of the Lord said they thought that I think towards you is a peace. The report says we are sick. It is a report. 
Are you listening to me? They brought report from Canaan land. And they told the people who sent them. They said we cannot be able to possess that land. And Caleb and the other one said. What is wrong with you? We are able to go and to possess and to possess that country. They mentioned all those places. Then God will give us victory. Any man that you, you are always with, that is always having the spirit of we cannot. When it's about good things, separate yourself from them. They can never make your life better. Anyone that comes to you that the only thing they do is to gossip pastors. Chase them away. You can gossip pastor who do occultic means. But the one who is doing genuinely. Ah, you are in for it. You don't even have right to gossip anymore. The condition says you are poor. The environment says you cannot progress. That is not the agenda of God for you. I want you to stand up with anger. So what is that thing that condition is saying about me? I rewrite that story right now. What is that thing that the situation is saying about me? I change that story right now. What is that thing that the peculiar thing I say? That my case is peculiar. That is trouble me. I break out of it in the name of Jesus. Start declaring. You are in the place of power. Start declaring. Power is not cheap. But at the same time, it is available for those who desire it. Why you don't change in the place of power? It's the easy you can linger in your life forever. In the place of power, there is a change of order. Responsibility is given. Right is awarded. Problem is settled. Men are used against their wish. Elders are made to son the youngest. Givers are converted to beggar. Destinies are either endangered, enslaved, demoted, as a senator and manipulated. And being manipulated and can be corrected. Promotion is guaranteed. In the place of power, conversation is permitted. Glory are silence. Destiny are reposition and invalidate. Killers and the rescuer are demonstrating what belongs to them in the place of power. Every word of your mouth is standing for something today. Today is the day that you are going to use your word. You are going to get it right. You are going to declare. The place of power is where you are. Uh -huh. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. You know, ask me to tell you to come out of that place. The rights and the power is released for you. Anointing is released for you. Comfort is released for you. Favor is released for you. Power of God is released for you. Uh -huh. Start declaring. That's what you want from the Lord. Say to him. He can hear you. He can hear you. He can hear you. Enough of paranoia. Enough of problems. A lot of cloud cases, a lot of sickness in my body, enough of this problem. Start declaring. Yes, yes, yes. Declare the word of God. Declare the word of God. I am at liberty. Nothing will stop me. People online declare the word of God. I see the glory of God upon me. Nothing can stop me. I see the rights of God upon my life. Nothing can stop me. I see the favor of God upon my life. Nothing can stop me. I see the honor of God upon my life. Nothing can stop me. I stand in the heart of God. Nothing can stop me. Start declaring. It is your time. Say to him. One of the Lord said you will declare that I shall be established unto you. Say it. Say it. If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? Start declaring. Start declaring. I break out of that snake. Turn against your marriage. Turn against your destiny. Turn against your beauty. Turn against your talent. Turn against your career. Your official snake. Turn against your education. Turn against your business. Stop breaking out. Stop breaking out. Stop breaking out. Romans 1 19 says, For the earnest expectation of creature. Wait time for the manifestation of the Son of God. Say, I will manifest. Say, declare my time to manifest has come. Say, declare my sin to manifest is here. Say, declare my time has come. To manifest has come. Say, declare the love of God. Lovely 
liberty. Let's comfort. I manifest. I manifest. I manifest. I manifest. My sinner manifestation is here. Say to God. Say to him. Don't stop telling him. Hey, don't stop telling him. Negotiate with God. If he has tell you because of the family you came from, nothing good happened. You can tell God something good will start happening. In my family, what the Lord has cleaned, that are not call it common. I'm not a common man. I am loaded with power, with grace, with anointing, with mantle of power, with supernatural light. Nothing can stop me. No more. No, 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 no. So I say it to God. So I declare it. I will carry my children. Call your name to glory. Call your name to manifestation. Call your name to progress. Call your name to the place of honor. Call your name to the nobles. Call your name to the place of honor. Amen. I Amen. pray for you today. Amen in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Lord, call Jesus. Word of the Lord say, as I hear you saying in my ears, so will I do. Because we have spoken to the ears of God, let him start working for you. you. Let the glory of the Lord manifest in your life. Amen. Let his anointing program your love for the path. Amen. Every ground you have lost. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Take the ground back. Amen. Thank you, faithful God. Take the ground back. Amen. You are recovering the ground and the ground. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Your blood will not be you for ritual. Amen. No one will announce your last statement. Amen. When you are alive. Amen. How do they say it? Before a woman ran mad, they say, or a man, they say, this was the last statement the person said before. I pray in the name of God, it will not be your portion. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, glory to God. If you are happy, can you shout one bigger hallelujah? Hallelujah.